Hi guys! Greetings from the Thai Expat Gardener channel. I'm Caroline Folder um, and um, I'm an avid gardener but um, recently I've been thinking about houseplants and what I've had great success with and um, that I would thoroughly recommend to anybody gardening in Thailand um, and there have been real surprises. Um, to start off with, um, if you have any questions about gardening in Thailand or want to know where to buy good plants and things, um, you can always ask down in the comment section. I'd be happy to yes. answer for gardening in the tropics. Well, to start off with, um, I'm going to go with the coleus. Um, this one, do you see, it's got the red leaves and this one has just been amazing you just need to water it about um, once every four days three three to five days and um, just keeps on going i pl plonked her in the middle of the house and um, she's flowered um, several times this year and um, when i've neglected and not watered they've flopped over but once I give her some water, she's been able to come back again and um, continue flowering. So I would thoroughly recommend these um, coleus plants. Um, there's several variegated leaf forms. Um, this one is a red pink and it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, the second one um, I would recommend also um, would be uh, the Arethiums. These are actually colour lilies um, and I think they're from South America but these have just stayed with the flower colours all year and they've just been in flower all the time and really minimal care water again every four or five days and um, Sometimes a little bit of the long-lasting fertilizer pellets, um, just a few balls of those every now and then, and um, it's just magnificent. And it's just so lovely to have these sort of little pink heart-shaped leaves. Um, anyway, yeah, they've been a real joy and so easy. Um, and the third one, I would say, would be... Um, this one, which is the tea lily. Um, the tea lily um, is also called the good luck lily. This one in, in Thailand is considered very, very lucky to have in the house. Brings you great wealth and abundance. Um, and the leaves are just gorgeous. Um, they're not that cheap, but um, they grow so easily and you can split them up and make lots more new little plants. This one I actually got from my mother's house. Um, she had a whole load of them so I bought quite a few here and I've been using them. They are just so lovely. Anyway, that's um, the tea lily or the good luck lily. Um, the fourth one I would say would be um, Monstera. Um, this one. The leaves are just gorgeous, um, huge big leaves. And I love to paint this one. I have quite a lot of, um, for my background, um, for nudes and, and live painting and things, um, I really love to have these ones. Sometimes I even cut them and make a print and um, emboss it, print it onto my paintings. Um, these are just gorgeous. These were, I guess these must have been one of Matisse's, Henri Matisse's um, favourite plant as well because there's so many paintings of his that have these Monstera lilies in, look bigger than my face. Anyway, they're just absolutely gorgeous. They're quite easy to look after. Um, I wouldn't say they were as easy as the rest, but... Um, they like to completely dry out before you water them again so you really have to watch the watering and they can 
be over watered and that will kill them but other than that this one you see it's got a new leaf coming and um, they just unfurl so quickly it's, it's uh, just quite amazing this plant I'm quite quite in love with it and um, anyway that's the monstera um, and then I found this one um, which is its leaves are kind of like a mini monstera so it's a mini monstera and these are just so pretty to go into sort of a flat vase or something alongside I have this one alongside with one of my Buddhas um, for decoration and it's so easy um, and that is just so easy and that stays like that all year um, all of these they really um, just keep their shape keep their color and are just gorgeous to be enjoyed in your house just all year round I mean no problem at all um, the next one which is the easy peasy one that most people will have I've just um, repotted a, a small one starting these are called um, money plants and um, they're sort of um, people think that if you have these in your house you'll never be without money so they're quite a good luck abundance plant and a useful um, plant to have around they also clean the air very well and are so easy you can grow them in soil or you can just have them in a a, 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 a jar a glass jar with uh, water and pop them into a lovely vase and they'll just keep growing and um, they're really easy and very lovely um, I just brought this one out for you to have a look at I've got one of these little money plants it's just grown and grown I've got it in a, one of my little antique baskets um, which I enjoy and um, I've got it by the piano in my house on a little stand like this um, yeah that's kind of but also it's just a really really easy plant and you can put them on shelves in between books um, anywhere and they just sort of go grow um, elongated around or hang um, you can hang them on the banisters anything they're just a really really great easy plant to have and then um, one two three four five six um, the seventh, sorry about that, the seventh plant that I love to have is um, the ZZ plant, it's called. And this is another very good luck plant, you can see. Um, it's really beautiful. The other, the other name for it is the emerald plant because the leaves are quite emerald green. These are also very lucky. Uh, supposedly lucky um, household plants to have um, they bring wealth and abundance um, but they're just so gorgeous and I've had these for about 16 years um, this is a replanted um, one I just cut cut one of the stems from a bigger plant that I have on the outside um, I'll show you later they're just huge um, so I've got them outside on the walkways and patios but I just take a cutting from from the, the 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 main plant and stick them in and this is um doing really well now um it's about one year so um yeah and it will just keep growing um once it gets a bit bigger I might put it inside the house otherwise I'm just keeping it outside for the moment um and um here is some more these are really small ones that i've done of the zz plant and they're growing quite successfully they've taken really well and um it's just cute to have them in here with some rocks and that um and the last one number eight um is the peace lily 
or it's also called the color lily but it's um, similar to the erythium um, calla lily but it's white um, I haven't got it in flower at the moment but basically this is it um, these are really good air refresheners and cleaners in the house and um, they've got a beautiful white lily flower when they do flower um, this one is um, I think it's ready to be separated I want to put them in more fancier pots um, and just single single plants I think there's about three three plants in here so I've got two new pots um, and so I think I'll do that I'll separate them and um, put them into new pots and then I'll have two more new house plants with these ones um, these ones um, I've had for about 16 no more than that 20 years probably um, and uh, one way or another they've just sort of reproduced themselves and I've just kept them going through all these years they're very very easy um, and I would thoroughly recommend them they also don't like the light so they're a great plant to have in a dark spot in the house you know um, and they would just thrive and they would still flower in a dark space anyway there you have it my recommendation of eight absolutely no fail wonderful house plants that you could have in Thailand um, uh, the first one Monstera and ZZ plant mini Monstera the coleus with the gorgeous red leaves um, and um, the tea lily or the good luck lily Arethiums um, and the money plant and also the peace lily anyway i hope that's given you some ideas of what you can have in the house that um, you probably wouldn't kill um, and um, it's just gorgeous to have them in the house as little features um, amongst all your knickknacks and things like that so anyway i hope you enjoyed this program and you've got some ideas um, and um, I hope to see you in my next program. Thanks. Bye. Have a great day, everyone.